Hey everyone! This video was created to help you navigate through Teams in Office 365. We'll overview creating both public and private channels and integrating other tools such as shared OneDrive folders, Flipgrids, YouTube videos, and forms. To get started, log in to office.com with your TUSD credentials and access Teams through either the web or desktop application. Once you select the team you'd like to work on, you'll notice there is a general channel already created. This channel comes preloaded with tabs for posts, files, class notebook, assignments, and grades. I'd like to organize my class by week number, so let's create a new channel for week one. Click the three dots next to the team name and select Add Channel. Input the name for your channel and enter a description if you'd like. Underneath the description box are privacy options. This will allow you to decide whether the channel should be public or private. I'd like all students to access this channel, so I'll leave the privacy as standard. You can also select the checkbox to automatically show the channel on everyone's list. Hit Add, and you're done. You'll notice that a notification has been placed in your General Channels Post tab. This will notify all members that a new channel has been added. Now that we've created a channel for Week 1, let's add some content. Select the channel you'd like to add content to, and hit the plus sign at the top of the page. A list of various add-ins will be shown. I'd like to begin by adding a OneDrive folder containing readings for Week 1. Select Website, then assign a name to your new tab. Next, add the URL to your shared folder or any website you'd like to link. I'm going to head to my OneDrive and locate the folder I'd like to share. Select the Share icon next to the folder name. To be sure my students are able to view these documents, I'm going to edit my privacy to allow anyone with TUSD credentials to view these files. I don't want my students to be able to edit my cloud storage files, so I'll leave that unchecked. Click Apply, then copy the link. Now we can head back into Teams, paste the link, and hit Save. Once saved, our new tab is ready to go. If you head over to the Posts tab for Week 1, you'll see this update posted. Now let's integrate a tab for students to access our Week 1 Flipgrid topic. Click the plus sign again and select Flipgrid. Add the tool to your team. If you have your flip code or Flipgrid URL handy, enter it into the box provided. Or, select Educator Login to be directed to the Flipgrid website. Once logged in, locate the Flipgrid you'd like to add to your team's page. You can share the entire Flipgrid for your class, or you can open your class's Flipgrid and select specific topics to link to your teams. I'm going to link our personal introductions topic to our Week 1 Teams channel. Click the Share icon and copy the URL. Head back into Teams and paste the URL in the space provided. Hit Save. Now my students will have access to this week's topic in Flipgrid directly within their class's team page. They can view their peers' videos and also record a new response directly on Teams. The name of this tab isn't very user-friendly, so I'll go ahead and change it. Right-click on the name and select Rename. Rename the tab and click Save. Now our tab is renamed. 
Next, I'd like to add a YouTube video for my students to watch and critique. Click the plus sign and select the YouTube add-in. Hit Add. When the search bar appears, type in your keywords and hit Search. Select a video to add to your team's page and click Save. Notice that Teams will automatically consolidate your tabs. Now, let's organize our students into private learning groups for their first quarter project. I'm going to start by adding a new channel and naming it Group 1. This time, I'm going to set the privacy as private. When I click Next, I'll be given the option to assign team members to this private channel that only they will be able to access. Type in a student matric number or name. You can also add fellow educators. After selecting names, click the Add button. Make note that anyone you'd like to add to a private channel must first be a member of your team. I don't have any active team members now, so I'll go ahead and click Skip. You'll notice that your private channel will have a lock icon next to it. Now, let's take a look at some settings options for this private channel. Click the three dots next to the private channel's name and select Manage Channel. On the Members tab, you'll be able to see all owner and team member information for this private channel. Click over to Settings and select Member Permissions. I'd like my learning groups to have the ability to create, update, and remove tabs within their group's workspace. I can also decide whether to allow group members to delete or edit messages they share. There are a variety of other options you can explore from the Manage Channel tab, including whether to allow GIFs and memes. The Analysis tab is a great way to see a snapshot of channel engagement for different time periods. If you'd like, you can rename your team by clicking the three dots next to the team name and selecting Edit Team. At the top, Use the text box to edit the team name. You can also explore a variety of icons or upload your own to personalize your team. Once an icon is selected, hit Update. You can see all the team updates we've made to our tabs and channels in the Post tab. Before we finish, I'd like to link a form to my Digital Syllabus Acknowledgement. Hit the plus sign and select Forms. I have the option to create a new form directly in Teams, but I'll go ahead and use one I've already created. After clicking Add an Existing Form, select the form you'd like to link to your Teams page. Click Save. Now my form is accessible on my Teams page. I'd like to change the title to something a bit more concise, so I'll right-click and rename it.